Hey guys, welcome back to SB Beauty and today I'm going to show you how to get this eye look. Yes! Some fierceness right here. <laughs> um, this is my uh, pink and orange eye. I love it. I'm really digging the white eyeliner. I've never wore white eyeliner before, but let's get a little closer, shall we? Yes, yes. Just to let you guys know, I will be using this guy here. And this is the Take Me to Brazil palette. I got it, it was 16 bucks at uh, Ricky's. They also have it on the BH Cosmetic website. Um, and yeah, I love these super vibrant colors. Totally good for the summertime now. Um, I can't wait to get into like these blues over here. Hello. <laughs> um, I also use some colors from my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I really love this palette and it smells like freaking peaches. Uh, <laughs> it smells so good. Um, but the colors that I used are these little guys right here. I use this one, I use this one, and I use this one. So I did use three pa three um, eyeshadows from here. I couldn't resist. Some of those are like really good base colors, but you can definitely find some um, alternatives down below. Um, I'll put them in. I know Makeup Geek carries a lot of them and their eyeshadows are like five, six dollars. So really good buy. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how to get this eye look, then just keep on watching. <laughs> so let's do this. Uh, my face is already uh, primed, foundation, eyebrows, pretty much everything is done. I'll leave the stuff that I used down in the description box. Um, so yeah, let's jump into this eye look. So first thing first, I just want to let you know, you're going to need a couple of different brushes. Um, I'm just going to give you a little rundown of what I used. So this guy is the Morphe E14. This is really good for the brow bone highlight. Um, I have a flat shader brush. You can use any flat shader brush. This one is from BH Cosmetics. I got it in this, ugh, I got it in this little set here. It was like maybe 15 to $20. Um, so I got my flat shader brush. Um, I have a little fluffy brush and this one's from Morphe. It's the 511. And then I have my little Eco Tools little brush there. You can see the tip. And this is for like the waterline. You wanna get underneath, you know, right underneath there. And then I have another little brush. This is just a little fluffy brush. It's very small. Um, and that came from another brush collection. I don't know, don't remember which one that was from. And then this one's actually from the same one. It's just a pointed, it's kind of like to get the highlight in the inner corner. And then this one is a Luxie 231 small tapered blending brush that I got in one of my Ipsy bags. Uh, Luxie and Morphe are sold at uh, Ricky's as well. I really like Ricky's NYC because they carry a lot of indie brands and I really like that because they're brands that you can't get at Sephora. Um, so yeah, let's jump into it. <laughs> well, first things first, I'm going to be using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. It's in white and I don't have anything on my lid right now. As you can see, you can see on my veins, I don't have anything on my lid. So I'm going to go in with this guy as my base. This is really tacky, which is great because it's gonna hold on to the shadow really well. I like to use a white base when I'm using colors like this, like very uh, bright fluorescent colors. So I like to take this, kind of make my, my little shape here. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. Make sure you get more on your lid there.
All right, so you should have an eye that looks something like that. And you can also get this NYX uh, Jumbo Eye Pencil at Ricky's as well. This video is not sponsored. Not sponsored. I just like using all of these different products. The NYX store does have their, well, NYX does have their own store um, and it's in Union Square. I haven't been to it yet because I'm afraid the damage I'm gonna do to my wallet. It's gonna be pretty epic. So I'm like holding off on that. <laughs> All right, so first things first, the first color that I'm gonna be using is Georgia, which is this one right here. And that's kind of just gonna be like a little base for us. All right, boom. So I'm just gonna do the, my brow bone highlight. And the color that I use for that is Nectar, which is this little guy right here. Highlight that brow bone. <laughs> So now I'm going to take my little fluffy brush here and I'm going to take the Candid Peach, which is this color right here. It does have some glitter in it, but I find that the glitter just falls right out. Like it doesn't stay on the eye, which I personally like. I'm going to take that here and start blending. Yes! Oh my god, I love this color. It is so freaking beautiful. All right, so now I'm gonna put that palette away and then I am going into my BH Cosmetics palette and I am going into this orange color right here, this little guy. That's just going to intensify the color that we already have put down. And I'm gonna pack up my flat shader brush. Make sure you get a lot of color on it. Make sure you tap it out because you don't want any fallout. And I'm just gonna take that on the lid. I don't know, something about pink and orange, oh, I just love it, especially for the, for the summertime. I don't know what it is, it like screams my name, it's like, oh, pink and orange. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna switch to my small tapered brush, and I'm gonna go into the color right next to this one. It's like another pink, but it's a little bit more like berry toned. And I'm just gonna put that in the outer corner here. And I'm gonna kinda just blend that in. Again, we don't want any harsh edges. I'm gonna take my other small paper brush and I'm gonna go back into, back into Candid Peach and I'm just gonna blend that out. I don't want any harsh lines. I'm gonna take my small taper brush again and I'm gonna go into that pink right here in the corner and I'm gonna mix these two guys right here. corner. 
start blending that out a bit. Fluorescent colors like this are always hard to work with because they're hard to get them so pigmented, you know? Sometimes you put your finger in it and it looks all dusty, but you have to take the right steps as far as like applying the white base. The white base is like everything when it comes to fluorescent colors. All right, I think we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty blended here. And so now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish my under eye concealer here. So I'm just gonna finish my concealer under there so I can do my under eye. <laughs> it's good to, con to do your concealer last, just in case you have any fallout, you can just Never know. Boom. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna use my under eye setting powder, the one that I always use, my Laura Mercier. I wish drugstores would get it together and have more like under eye powders and things like that. The closest you'll get is like NYX. I mean, they do sell it at the um, drugstore. Um, but I haven't tried their like HD pressed powder just yet. So maybe they do. Maybe I just don't know. Which means I gotta go shopping. You know how much I love shopping. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my little flat shader brush for underneath the eye. And I am gonna go into the Candid Peach color again from the Peach Palette, and I'm just gonna run this color underneath my waterline there. And then I'm going into this purple right over here. I saw it and I was like, oh. <laughs> I love that purple, it's so pretty. And then I'm gonna take my, I just got this, the NYX White uh, Liquid Eyeliner. I tried it for the first time. I don't know if I'm loving it yet. Uh, my friend Jatara, she just started a YouTube channel. You guys have to check her out. I will link her video in the description box. Definitely check her out. Tell her I sent you. Show her crazy love. She's so awesome. Such a cool person. And we're trying to do this YouTube thing together. You know what I mean? We inspire each other. We give each other a lot of makeup tips. Um, yeah, show her some love. All right, I'm gonna take this white eyeliner. I like this one because it has a little brush. Let me see, I don't know if you can see it. Has a little brush tip. So sometimes with the felt tip, they could seem to be easier, but sometimes they're not. I feel like the little brush is a lot better to kind of like flick it out, but it's, it's just a preference, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, and yeah, let's get into this white eyeliner. Let me zoom you in. All right, we got our wings on, let that dry. I don't know, when this one dried, it felt a little crusty. I'll let you know how it wears in the description box down below. Um, 
Yeah, I feel like this wing definitely came out better than this one, but hey, we're all human. Sometimes you have a good wing day, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you have a good eyebrow day, sometimes you don't. <laughs> sometimes your eyebrows are twins, sometimes they're sisters. You just, you just never know. Depends what kind of mood you're in. <laughs> all right, next thing is mascara. And of course, I am using the Voluminous uh, Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. Freaking love this. I got mine at Walmart. It's about eight bucks. And yeah. You know what I want to get into is like the color mascara. NYX has a lot of, a lot of colors. Actually, I need to pick some up and just play around. I just want to zoom you guys in so you can see the difference with the mascara. And that's only because I did one coat. If you do a couple of coats of this, er, you be flying away. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna do this one a little bit more. Curl, curl, curl. Go for a couple more coats. Last thing I want to do is take some of this Scandal Eyes Waterproof Coal Liner, and this one is in the color nude, and just run that in the waterline. Okay, and then one thing I forgot is my inner corner highlight. So I'm going into the Too Faced Peach Palette into Nectar, and I'm just flopping. Oh, I'm going into the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette into the color Nectar, and I am just placing that here in the inner corner just to highlight it, give some more light into the eyes. And boom, there we have it. And boom, there we have it. This is the eye look. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe. Uh, let me know if you guys have any requests of eye looks that you want me to do. I am working on that silver smoky eye. I shot a video and I wasn't too like impressed with it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for supporting me. Just know I'm still working on my audio. I'm still working on my lighting. I'm still working on getting comfortable in a place where I can actually film. I usually shoot in my room. I live in Manhattan. My room is a shoebox, so I'm trying to make it work. <laughs> uh, but thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it, and I can't wait to do more videos for you guys. Um, yeah, so that's the end of this video, and thanks for watching. <laughs>